Hello, and welcome to the Schooner Simulation. I'm your host, Michael Whitman, and this episode is sponsored by DraftKings. Sign up with promo code TPPN using the link in the description. It's fair to say that we're all a little disappointed after last week, but a bounce back win against the Cyclones might just be what the Sooners need to finally get a fair ballot from the CFP committee. For those that are new, we'll be watching the Sooners and the Cyclones play in NCAA Football 14, setting the AI to Heisman level difficulty and analyzing the gameplay footage. The updated rosters, courtesy of the Operation Sports Forum, are used to update the players, and the college football revamped modification is used to update visuals. Check out links to both in the description below. I've decided to incite violence in both fan bases this week because I do not care anymore. The Cyclones will be sporting a black-white-black -black combo while the Sooners will be blindingly crimson. Don't worry, my eyes are bleeding too. If the side eyes from the crowd don't catch both teams off guard, the wind definitely will. The Schooner Weather Composite predicts Norman will be experiencing 20 mile an hour winds throughout the game. And with the temperature dropping to 55 with clouds blocking the sun, it's gonna be chilly. The Sooners could definitely use a bounce back game. Bobby, do you think Iowa State will give us that opportunity? Well, this Iowa State team isn't quite as good as we thought they'd be coming into this season. The defense has regressed, and the combination of Brock Purdy and Brees Hall just doesn't seem as potent as it was last season. Still, the Sooners will need a big time performance to right the ship here. Iowa State is still a pretty good team. I don't know what it is with offenses coming out super hot against us, but like the others, Iowa State looks great until the red zone where they just can't seem to push hard enough to breach the goal line. Efforts from the D-line are paramount in keeping Purdy contained and making mistakes, causing more punts than points. The secondary held up, keeping with their assignments extremely well. Both of these factors combined to keep Iowa State from converting on almost every third down play, which is simply phenomenal. The third quarter resembled the first half with another Cyclone field goal that they would have loved to see go for six instead. But come the fourth, the Sooners would end up gassed and allow ISU their first touchdown of the game. However, they would prevent a two-point conversion and ISU would fail an onside to get the ball back. This really has been an outstanding showing from the defense today. Defense may win championships, but they leave out the qualifier of so long as the offense is competent. I'm getting tired of saying the same WHAT THE F*** WAS THAT? Glitches aside, the game started out like many of the other Sims recently. Absolutely horribly. However, come the end of the second quarter, something changed. Williams was not only seeing deep balls, but sniping them over the heads of the Cyclones. This led to two OU touchdowns in less than a minute of play. Seeing that transition from sacks and stuffed runs to scorching the secondary was just magical. Unfortunately, it didn't last. Halftime came and went, and while the offense still saw some of that productivity, it was spread throughout short passes and the run game finding space and taking it from there. Suddenly, it was the Brooks Gray Show featuring Woods, Mims, and Hazelwood. Who knows why, and honestly, who cares? The stats are showing on the same amount of plays, Oklahoma scored four times what Iowa State had. Final score, Oklahoma 27, Iowa State 12. You know, I'd take this game. We had shining moments without falling apart. How do you feel, Bobby? I'll tell you what, this would be an excellent win. A solid performance on both sides of the ball is nothing to scoff at, especially given how inconsistent this Oklahoma team has been. Considering the Sim has been low-key pretty on fire with predictions, I'm actually feeling a bit better now. I don't know about y'all, but I got the wind completely knocked out of my sails against Baylor. It felt like we were hanging by a thread, and after seeing us snap, I can finally relax. The shoe dropped, it happened, I can move on with my life. I am hoping that OU does the same and can keep pushing through this game to regain some eye test points so we can get a solid New Year's Six bowl game showing. Iowa State is our next to last opponent, and a fairly decent one at that. So this is a game to reestablish ourselves before heading into one hell of a bedlam matchup. Brock Purdy sucks, he's garbage. Iowa State fans come at me, Bush Light is nothing but watered down crap. Your chili sucks, your tap sucks. <laughs> I hate you and your tacky. Your black uniforms yeah. look very lame. You're, you're basically just an Iowa clone, uh, except for the fact you can't beat yourself. So there you go. <laughs> 